when you have a lot of different plugins installed, a lot of times your block editor, your, where you edit your blog post, just ends up becoming really bloated and sluggish. And so let me show you how you can strip it down and remove all the things from it that you're not actually using. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm actually editing a blog post that'll be, actually I'm editing a blog post that's already published. I'm kind of modernizing it. Anyways, um, over here in the uh, right panel, we've got all these collapsible things. Now some of them are default WordPress, but you can see that I've got stuff showing up here because of other plugins that I have installed like Perf Matters, WP Rocket, WP Fusion. I don't even use any of these. I mean, I use, use the heck out of WP Fusion, but I never use the content protections for blog posts. I just don't need them here. Um, and, and so it takes up additional time to actually load up the editor. Okay. The other thing is that when you go over to your list of available blocks, I mean, look how many things are in here and almost none of them I actually use. I only use just a handful of these things in a typical blog post. So the good thing is we can actually um, strip this thing down, okay? And over here on the right side at the top, there's these little three dots for options. And basically there's a preferences menu under here. So if you click on preferences, you'll pull this thing up and we can start to turn things off. So for the right side panels, we can go to panels and I'm just gonna start turning off all the ones that I'm not actually utilizing on my blog post. Okay, links. I don't think I use really any of these things. Um, these I do at the bottom. Those are custom field things, so I'll keep those. I'm going to go in and remove the discussion option because I always keep comments turned on on these things. Um, and you could do the same thing with any of the other stuff that you're not actually using. Okay, so it basically won't do that. You'll see that they're not there anymore. And if we refresh the editor, they still will not be there. So it's a little faster already because those things are not actually showing up here on the right panel. Now, let's go ahead and go do the exact same thing. Let's go over to preferences. We're gonna go to blocks and look at this. Under the blocks, we can actually enable and disable all the stuff we're not actually using. So you can see that I've already turned off all the ones for Learn Dash because I just never use this in the block editor. My theme takes care of all this. I'm not gonna need any of the ones from Rank Math. Um, I do sometimes use Presto, but not very much. Let's go ahead and turn off the ones I'm just barely ever touching. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is under the theme. Mm, anyways, I'll go through some of these and turn them off. But you can get the idea here on the stuff that we just don't use. The widgets, I don't think I ever use this in the in here. So let me just turn these things off. I can always go back and turn them on again. Da, 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 columns and stuff. I don't use most of this stuff. So I'm going to go through and hand pick a few of these things uh, in, in order to, I don't use verse. Don't really use the table much. I do use pull quote every now and then. You get the idea, but it's basically now, I got 78 blocks that are hidden and they will now show up less stuff over here. Oh, all these embed options, I never really use these, so I'll be getting rid of that. But you get the idea. So let me go ahead and um, and do that on, the, on mine and then you can choose what you do. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that. So now if we click on, for my thing, we go to the uh, list of blocks here and you'll see that there's just significantly less stuff here. It's a lot less bloat involved with actually uh, you opening up the block editor now. So there you have it. Um, speaking for me personally, I'm still getting used to the block editor. I mean, I have been using it for a while now, but I don't use it to do full site design and stuff like that. And I know they're making it into a really powerful um, native WordPress editor, um, but uh, you know, it's, I'm, st I'm personally still learning what some of the bells and whistles are, but it's really cool that I can uh, customize it. And I will say that, that the editor was getting a little bloated for me where I'd go to edit a blog post and I'd have to sit there and wait for things to load up. And, and the list of available blocks was just getting really unwieldy. So the fact that I can turn that stuff off, really handy. So hopefully that helped you out too if you have the same problem with your site.